What do you think the relationship is between these two figures? So it's made in the 1700s, late 1700s in England. This person is black and this person is white. Now let's look at the body language and the way they're looking at the viewer. They're both looking at the viewer. This figure is a very strong figure, really like coquettish. This is a sort of blander figure. They are both wearing, you know, fancy dress that looks sort of nice and they're touching. So what do you think the relationship is? They're cousins. This is Dido Lindsay or Dido Bell, and this is Elizabeth Murray. And they were both the nieces of Lord Mansfield, who was the Lord Chief Justice at the time. Now, 1770s, you should think this is roughly contemporary to the beginning of the U.S., slavery is still very much in force. Um, Dido's father was a sailor and has her with an enslaved person. Lord uh, Mansfield had no children, basically raises Dido and raises them as equals and they're great friends. And so this portrait is created. Dido actually ends up an heiress and gets married and has heirs and actually her line lives until the 20th century. Interestingly enough, Lord Mansfield is one of the people who's a major force in the outlawing of slavery in England. And actually also the idea once people, enslaved people, are emancipated in England, however, the English, a lot of those um, people who, who owned human beings wanted to send them to their spaces in the colonies so they could keep that labor force. And Lord Mansfield was very against it and helps pass legislation that um, means that you cannot send these previously enslaved people away from England. And a lot of people say it's because he had this very, you know, loving relationship with Dido. And at, at the end of his life, he leaves her with, um, with, with money so that she can get married and set herself up.